Hello everyone, welcome back to my show. So today is day 4 of our trip to Kashmir. So now we are going to check out of this grand hotel that is Solomon Heights. Huge it is. Uh, two beds which can fit two people each. Many sofas. The TV has Amazon Fire Stick plus cable. There's a nice AC also very very grand room and it is only 9000 per night so it's pretty good so i'm really sad to be checking out so early okay so now we'll see where we are going to go today okay so we are on the way to the resort and this is the little river yeah, on one side of the road for some reason I don't know why. Okay, so we have reached hotel, I mean a green resort. Uh, so it is not green, but it looks like a good resort. And this is the view from here. So this is in Telga. So we'll just use some sanitizer. Sanitizer is not working. This is the reception. Okay, so this is the hall base. Over here, you can see. A very small hall base, but manageable. So we'll see our room afterwards. Okay, so this hotel has given us Kashmiri tea, 3 cups. So, uh, it tastes very good also. Okay, so there is no lift in this hotel. So there is no lift. In this hotel, so remember that if you are old, please don't come here. So we are going to go to the hotel room. Okay, so this is the bathroom. It has a heater also. Dental kit and soap is there. So this is the room. It has a sofa. Okay, so this is the bed. It's nice and soft. And we also have a good view of the river from here. So now we are on our way to Aru so uh, you have to either bring your personal car here or you have to take uh, this place ka taxi you have, take, taxi. Yeah, you have to take the union taxi back to take your own taxi because it is not allowed here okay so we are on our way to Aru and we are in Toyota Etios so on the right there are some zoos deer parks and all and uh, they are in the middle of the river uh, there are some island parks which are uh, the rocks which are turned into a flat surface in the middle of the river and people go and stand there take photos and all uh, so i don't know what fun they have in that so if you want you can also do that and right next to the river there is a hill so now we are going to Aru okay so now we have entered Aru wildlife sanctuary so did you give any receipt? I don't know that what is the sanctuary in this but it is 25 rupees per head so I hope we at least see some uh, exotic animals or something. The road is very very bad here. So now we are not going along the river anymore. We are at a bit of a height as you can see. Okay so here we have reached Aru Valley. Uh, so this is a nice river going over here. So, uh, ahead in the river, people do river rafting also, much ahead, and uh, this is the valley. Okay, so now we have reached the Aru Valley, many people are having picnics here, from here also you can go horse riding, you can hold birds by peeing and all, no I don't need. So here we are going around 
and this is the view. Okay, so here in Aru Valley, you can ride horses and you can put these birds on your head, on your hand, on your shoulders. So this is one bird. You can touch. So it's nice and smooth. I don't know how it is managing in this uh, cold weather, but you don't need jacket actually when there's the sun. So this is the bird which we have. It's only 50 rupees for how many of our photos you want. It is nice and soft and it doesn't hurt also. Okay, so there is one sad thing about the valley. People have polluted it very very badly. So since it's India, it's like this. So most Indians don't care. So that's one sad part about this place, it destroys the beauty. I don't know why there's a Tata salt packet and people are using holes in the ground as dustbins. So that's one bad thing about this place. So when you come here, please don't contribute to it. Okay, so here we are at one of the viewpoints. So here into the river and here you can see snow covered peaks even here on top snow covered peaks are there and uh, here behind also there is a nice scenic view uh, which is this nice green hill people are climbing on top also as you can see and this is the view from here so here down is the Aru valley where this river is flowing now we'll see uh, the other parts of this trip Okay, so now I'm showing you a glimpse of how the road is to Aru Valley. So you can see that how scary it is. Now though we are not going at any speed, I'll show you when we go at high speed. So we are absolutely at the edge and there is rocks on one side so we can't even go on the left advise the car will get scratched so this is how the road is okay so this is beta valley so you can see that there is a lake okay so here we are at chandanwadi so ice is very close to us it's really really cold i don't know where it is summer this is the view so now we'll go forward also okay so now we are going to try to walk up till the glacier most people climb back halfway because there is less oxygen and it's very hard to climb uphill but we will try our best to reach the top okay so this is the road in the video it doesn't look very steep but in real it is it is very very steep so we have come to a good place with you so now shops are there here uh, we can buy some things we are on our way closing up to the snow okay so we have reached the main point from which people uh, usually give up Oh my, and here you can see mountain goats. Really, really expert climbers, as you can see. Oh wow. So now we have reached the part where snow you can actually touch a bit. Okay, so here we are. Here is snow is on the left, and this is a Ladakhi rabbit. So here it is. So you can hold this also for 50 rupees. Very, very nice rabbit so now we might go and climb a bit on top okay okay now we are heading back uh, because it's a 32 kilometers thing uh, to see the holy cave uh, to see the holy cave so we can't 
uh, do 30 kilometers right now because it's already 4 o'clock and it's 32 kilometers full climb till there okay so now we ate Maggie in a shop and now we are returning back so we will return back to the hotel now the resort okay so now I have a bird also and a pashmina sheep also here oh, pigeon and uh, this is a pigeon and this Kashmiri is the pigeon. Kashmiri pigeon and this is the pashmina sheep so it is very very warm very very nice to hold and it's very soft it's different from the other uh, sheep which you hold and here's the view also so I think I held all animals today okay so now we are returning from this place after holding all types of animals rabbit, goat, pigeon everything and the two pigeon three pigeons I held today and uh, now this is the view uh, and we are going back so this is the same water which uh, you saw from that melting ice okay so here you can see mountain goats so you can see how their fur is oh and look one black goat was looking at us oh and the smaller sheep also coming behind this is a shepherd or a goat herd <laughs> Okay, so this is the Beta. Beta. This is the Beta Valley. So here you can see that there is a leaf-shaped island. Also, so that is Beta Valley. Okay, so this is the treacherous way to Beta Valley. So, complete u-turn and then downhill okay so now we'll also be going okay so we have survived the u-turn <laughs> and now we are going down to beta valley and here you can see the river a raging river you can call it Okay, so we have entered the Beta Valley. So it is 100 rupees per person. Okay, so here's the river. Not so raging now at this part, but ahead it is raging. So you got to pay 100 rupees per person. How much ever? How much ever time you want? And if you want wheelchair type thing, then you have to pay 500 extra to the wheelchair people which are there inside Beta Valley. So this is the valley, restaurants are there, furry, very very furry, sheep are there. Okay, that's one of the furry dogs here in Kashmir, they are very furry because they stay here when it snows also and there's one whole nature trail type thing for here okay so now we have reached the bridge okay so this is the bridge we are walking right on top of the water okay so this is the river okay so here's the river up close okay so this is the marketplace uh, you get cloth over here and uh, these things for putting on the wall a uh, key key holder okay so this is the forest part of this place so there's a small stream going through that's why there's a bridge very nice looking trees here it's a bit wet but manageable it feels like you are going into the soil actually the soil is that soft So this is a nice area to just come and sit and relax. So a nice small stream is here. Okay, so now this must be some picnic ground. Then from here you can directly climb and go a little bit up the mountain. And now again there's a bridge. Okay, so here's a tree house. 
which they have made. So I'll go on top. Yeah, so this three house is not at all maintained. But if you want, you can get your sleeping bag and just sleep here. Okay, we are exiting Beta Valley now. And the nice river, which is here. It doesn't look so rushing at this point. Because there are no rocks, but actually it's moving at a high speed. Okay, so this is the cottage part of our resort. That is this green resort. So here all cottages are there. And there's a nice stream flowing. I think there might be few fishes. Let's see, not fishes, but some sort of water insects are there. So we are not staying in the cottage currently. Uh, let's see the origin of this stream. I don't think we'll find it. Okay, we found the main origin of this stream. So it is here. <laughs> so here people can sit, eat and here are the cottages. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed uh, day 4 and I'll see you in day 5. Okay, bye.